Hello guys, Vice Force here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Resident Evil 6, so without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do a quick briefing on the story. Um, it's not too complicated unless you go really in depth with it, but I want to move on to gameplay and other aspects of the game, so we're just going to quickly go through the story, and here we go. So in Resident Evil 6, there are three main protagonists, two of which are from previous games, and one is a newcomer. The three main protagonists are Leon, Chris, and Jake, who is, yep, Wesker's son. So, they all have their own campaign, and all campaigns are unique. Leon's campaign focuses on horror, trying to bring back the roots of Resident Evil. Chris is focusing more on action and killing big POWs, and Jake's is more about, well, kind of a mix of the two. As you can see, I have Ada's, sorry about the spoiler alert, I should have made one, um, which you unlock if you've completed all of the other three campaigns. So, the story focuses about a new virus called the C-Virus, which basically turns people into zombies and infected. As infected, I mean things like Ganado and Magini from the previous games, Resident Evil 5 and 4. Um, and there's also a newcomer, like I said, Jake Mueller, who is Wesker's son. And although some people complain about him, or most people, I think he's a pretty well-designed character. A thing that is really special to the campaign is intersections, and this is basically when two campaigns come together. So, say, like, two people are playing Chris's campaign and two are playing Leon's, they can come together in the same campaign and actually play with each other. So, in this case, we have Leon and Helena, and Sherry and uh, Jake. And there's actually a, like a BOW that comes in a sec, and you can actually fight it with all four of you. And this is really cool because after this fight, you'll just go off on your own campaign again. It. Sir. While I'm on the subject of compa um, campaign as well, sorry, uh, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about character progression as well. There's not much that changes about the characters through the course. The only character who really changes is Chris. Um, as you see, like in pretty much every Resident Evil game he's in. He has a rough as hell time, and times since in this one he really changes quite yeah, a bit, uh, but no other character really does it as he does, uh, so even though Chris' campaign isn't the best, it's still now. good to play. I know I've only briefly mentioned stuff about the campaign and only a couple of things you can do with it, but that's not even scratching the surface of the campaign. It's really worth playing, and although the story is a little bland for a Resident Evil game, it is still, well, really good, and although Leon's campaign isn't really horror and Chris is a little too action it's still great to play, and, well, it's just a great experience for all of us little fans and newer life. Now on the gameplay. The gameplay in Resident Evil 6 is clunky at times, but is rather smooth. You'll feel like you're really playing a Resident Evil game, although it does have new features. The running around system, obviously like in Resident Evil 4 and 5 is still there, although you can do a bit more stuff now with it, like rolling around and crawling and stuff, which most people don't like, but it's a fine feature. People don't really use it too much, and I wouldn't really see why they would, but it's still there just in case you want to, and it can actually get you out of quite tricky situations. Another thing I wanted to address about this game was the visuals. The graphics look amazing, especially on the cinematic cutscenes. They just look gorgeous. In and out of the game just look really good. Obviously the cutscenes look better, and it, when it changes to the third person view again, it's not as good. But it still keeps up the date, and it's a great game if you're just, well, looking for a game that looks good and plays good. Now for the modes, there's several modes on Resident Evil 6, and most of them are DLC. Um, so as you can see, the Mercenaries is default, Agent Hunt is default, and uh, we'll talk about them a little later. Um, and yeah, and then there's like DLC, which I have all of them. Um, so let's go into Mercenaries. First of all, I think you start with Leon, Chris, and Jake, and you'll work your way up to the other characters as you complete stages, I think. So basically, Resident Evil 5. Um, you can unlock costumes, you unlock a second costume from getting an S rank on a stage, I think, and a SS, uh, no, a third costume by going on Resident Evil.net. So this is just me playing as Chris, this is some basic gameplay, um, it's quite early in the, in the 
the round, I guess you could say. Um, but you can do some insane stuff. I must say, the Mercenaries is improved from Resident Evil 5 and 4 and 3, if you count that. Uh, it just feels more slicker. They definitely try to make the Mercenaries, well, just feel more better. Seeing as you can run around more freely now and just jump around everywhere, it does feel really good and doesn't really distract from the actual gameplay at hand. Uh, the zombies feel good to kill, <clears throat> and so do the Juavo, which are basically the new Magini. And yeah, another thing I haven't really touched upon yet is are the skills. This is basically a thing you, where you can just, well, buy skills. Um, some are more powerful than others, but you get skill points as you play the game. Um, you can get skills for campaign, <coughs> sorry, uh, mercenaries, uh, and some other game modes too, so they're really useful. Um, if there was one complaint I would have about this game, it is probably the quick time events. Um, on this part, I have to climb up a rope, and as you just saw there, if me or my partner fall down the rope, we have to go all the way back up again. This is annoying because the quick time events are really hard to control, and it will happen a lot to you. To say bad things about this game is very hard. Um, the only real complaint I had was the quick time events. They are very annoying. Um, other than that, the game, the graphics look great, the game feels know. slick when you play it, and the story's fine. Uh, there's not really much bad in this game. Um, so it's definitely a game to go grab, uh, if you have the, well, if you have the chance. Um, and I think that's it. So, like the video if you enjoyed, uh, if you didn't like it, just like it, and maybe say why in the comments. Um, if you want to see more of me, just hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out, uh, like a lot. Um, and yeah, if you have any more suggestions for what videos you want to see from me in the future, just put, leave a comment. Alright guys, this is Visor Force, signing out.